Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense, New Zealand. I don't know what happened to that uh, that Prime Minister lady over there, but if you look at some younger pictures of her and some older pictures of her, she even she's actually starting to look like one of those lunatic fringe people. But over in New Zealand, they're saying that they have different ways to identify the new terrorists now. And the new terrorists may be those who oppose the Our government. Secret Service is launching an initiative to help us identify people who may have been radicalised. No, the signs details dozens of indicators that a friend or family member could be planning a terror attack. As Adam Hollingworth reports, the move comes as our spy chiefs identify a new and worrying type of terrorism. Time was when the intelligence services were never seen, never heard. But now they're loudly proclaiming your country needs you to keep an eye on those you know, and if necessary, dob them in. Recognising a potential warning sign and then alerting NZSAS or police could be the vital piece in the puzzle that ultimately saves lives. To that end, they're publishing a guide called Know the Signs to help us all identify potential terrorists in our midst. To pay attention if they are, and to be alert so that if they see or hear about something that seems off um, that worries them and concerns them, they might have a look at this information to say, does this indicate to me that this person is on the road to actually committing an attack? Uh, yes, i like to report this guy right here. <laughs> he looks very suspicious to me. Can I report this guy right here? The SIS has listed around 50 signs from obvious ones, like writing on a weapon as happened in Christchurch, to a person who is, who is really developing an us-versus-them worldview. The hell does that mean? That mean? I'm sorry, I like to report a scarecrow. <laughs> I, th I think this scarecrow right here is dangerous. I like to report her because I'm listening to some of this language, and I want you to listen to it, and you tell me, does this sound like she's trying to take people's freedom of speech? That sounds dangerous. How do you ensure the human rights of others are upheld when they are subjected to hateful and dangerous rhetoric and ideology? The hell does that mean? That means whatever the hell you want it to mean. The weapons may be different, but the goals of those who perpetuate them is often the same. What? To cause chaos and reduce the ability of others to defend themselves, to disband communities, to collapse the collective strength of countries who work together. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But we have an opportunity here to ensure that these particular weapons of war do not become an established part of warfare. Mm -hmm. Grandpa Pete talking smack about the government. Run up in there. Boom, boom. Come on, Grandpa Pete. You're going down, boy. We're going to hold you in a boot camp. Put you in a FEMA camp, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you got one of those old Uncle Joes who sit around talking about the government. Oh, they coming to get him. And they want you to report him. They want you to turn your own family in. Have you ever noticed that the government always like to be real, real secret until so they want to get you to snitch on one another? They don't. This is classified information. They want to keep everything hidden from you until so they want you to snitch on each other, become a professional snitch. We need your help. Say they're usually closely monitoring 40 to 50 potential terrorists. These people used to be motivated by their white identity or by their faith. But in the past six months, a third group has emerged. Those motivated by politics. The hell does that mean? And so it could be the COVID measures that the government took. And so it could be the COVID measures that the government took. Or it could be other policies that are interpreted as, as infringing on rights. Uh, and 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 it's a, what I sometimes describe as a kind of hot mess of, of ideologies and beliefs. What? Um, fueled by conspiracy theories. Fueled by conspiracy theories. The launch of the initiative Know the Signs is an indicator that the security services know that they can't do it alone. They need the help of the public. But to some, the guide is a first step only. How do we upskill those people in our community who are much closer to people who might be potentially radicalised and get them to understand what it is they're seeing? That's our challenge. Adam Hollingworth News. Turn your families in. Talking against the government on lockdowns or anything else is the same as if you blow up a building. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. These people, I'm telling you, man. 
This is the evil world you're living in, and it's getting worse. Because once you put these radicals in charge, <clears throat> those radicals who have been radicalized by claws from the WEF, hmm, I'm mourning because he had a heart attack too. Somebody tried to say he had a second one, but I don't believe it. Don't try to get my hopes up high. <laughs> don't you dare try to get my hopes up high. I don't even drink, but I'm thinking about it if he, uh, if he checks out here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, they're saying that if you go against the government mandates and what the government has uh, stated, uh, or the proper protocols, uh, they thinking about coming and arresting you. They're not going to tolerate any dissent. See, when these people call you Nazis, when they call you those people who are trying to uh, uh, intimidate other people, they're talking about themselves. Th these are the new Adolf Hitlers. These are the progressive and these woke people. They're the new Adolf Hitlers and the Joseph Stalins. They're the new Mu Mussolinis. These folks do not want you thinking. Thinking is dangerous to your health. What did he say? He said he doesn't believe in our lockdowns. The government issued a statement and he said he disagrees with it. Where is he at? That's a terrorist. We're going to pick him up right now. What did he say? Did he say a biological male cannot have a menstruation and become pregnant? Lock him up. Throw away the key. He's dangerous. He hurts somebody's feelings on the internet. We can't tolerate that. Are you kidding me? These folks are literally saying these types of things out loud. And they get these reporters. And these reporters are like zombies. They just repeat anything you put in front of them. Technically, the reporters are just like Joe Biden. They just can read better than Joe Biden because their brain hasn't left yet. But technically speaking, they're just like Joe Biden. Repeat this line. We have a new terror threat. Brewing through our country right now is these extremists who's denying science. These extremists who won't believe in climate change. These extremists who talk against the vaccine. These extremists who says that our lockdowns didn't work. These extremists that says there's something familiar or suspicious about people just dropping dead. We need to go get these extremists and lock them up. They should have a right to spread uh, this disinformation. Or is it misinformation? Whatever it is, uh, they're dangerous. <laughs> Let's lock them up. These folks are really, really dangerous. And they get on TV and say this. And they don't think anything wrong with this. Now, these people can say the most crazy thing that is anti-science, all kind of misinformation. They don't get locked up. Who's going to lock them up for misinformation? Who's going to stop their misinformation? No one. Because they're dictators.